I appreciate what you're trying to say here, but I need you to know something. Food is such a personal and complex topic, rooted in privilege, access, culture, and finances, that it's not okay to come on this platform and tell people what to eat and what not to eat without credentials. If you've noticed, we don't do much of that here, even though people ask us about food every day. For one, every time we do talk about food, the comment section is really quick to point out that doctors don't have much nutrition training and education. Which is true, but it's all relative. I'm not as qualified as a registered dietitian, but I know physiology, metabolism, vitamin intake, excess, and deficiencies. I don't know as much as a speech therapist about speech, but I know enough to do my job. Same comes with food. That's part of being a generalist. Food and nutrition come up in nearly every visit. So I know some stuff, and I've certainly done a lot of self-education there as well. I've also evolved a lot as a pediatrician over the years. That's also normal. I've made mistakes. One of the mistakes that I used to make, for instance, is dietary counseling of my overweight patients. And over time, I realized I was not moving the needle one bit in that arena, and no matter how gentle I thought I was being, I was hurting my patients emotionally. So I don't do that anymore. I word things very carefully and talk about how health is complicated, multifactorial, and not rooted in body size. I will never say our food industry is perfect. It's not. And will never minimize the role food has in our overall health. As someone who's constantly preaching that less is more when it comes to kids, medications, and supplements, I love the idea of creating a good relationship with health and lifelong health when it comes to kids. My concern with videos that demonize foods that are in our grocery stores is that they're rarely rooted in science. And when you have conversations like this, it confuses people and it opens the door to eating disorders. I need you to know the crisis that is going on in the pediatric community right now. The kids are not okay. I'm seeing one suicidal patient per week. Every depression, anxiety, eating disorder screening questionnaire that I do is positive. Things were bad before the pandemic and are worse since. The pendulum can swing both ways and it does. And at the end of the day, it comes down to everything in moderation. Should someone avoid red dye for their entire life with conflicting data when they could just die of an eating disorder at the age of 15? If you don't understand the link there, I urge you to look into pediatric mental health statistics. We have an important job as physicians and I take it very seriously. I tailor what I say for each individual person for what I feel is in their best interest. Which is why when some person with no credentials comes online and gives unfactual information that could potentially harm others physically and mentally, I speak up. Sadly, that always comes with a price, because some of you will die on the hill that doctors know less than you and are beneath you. But you are not my target audience. My target audience is the confused and overwhelmed mother I see in clinic every day. The one who needs someone who cares about her and about her children and has her best interest at heart. The one who needs an anchor. That's who I'm here for. That's who we're here for. And that's who we continue to show up for.